Obviously, your pick six right at the opening set the tone. Let's talk about that play, what you saw. Um, you know, we, we watched a lot of film. And, uh, you know, we, knew, we knew they were in a kind of predictable scheme and you know what they were going to do coming out. Um, everyone else did their job. Our defense covered all the bases. And so, it was, you know, it was, they, made, they made the way for me to come down here and make that play. Intercepted by number six, Carlton. First two or three minutes, you had that pick six, and then you had a beautiful sack for about a loss for 10 yards. Yeah. Uh, just talk about that. Nice, I mean, nice way to start a night. Uh, yeah, it's, it's great play calling at the end of the day. You know, our, we have a great coach, great defense when we're running. Um, you know, our D-line does things right, so uh, you know, I can get the home. Kevin's brought down by number six. How important was it for you guys to scope with the uh, shutout tonight? I think I think it's a big statement game uh, for sure, especially you know, coming off of last year. I think defense is a big thing we wanted to work on, and so we definitely improved on that. And so you know, I'm, I'm happy to have a shutout for sure. In the first game. I know you're an offensive guy, but that defense tonight was pretty impressive. Very impressive, you know. Shutout. They had a pick six. Um, you know, Coach Madison had a great game plan all week. You know, we watched the film. Over the weekend, put in a game plan. The kids executed very well. And, you know, it's kind of a first for me. Going to hang my hat on the defense. I mean, I told my coin toss, we win the coin toss. I'm going to defer, and I was like, I don't think I've ever done that before. But you know, I had a feeling they'd play good today, and they were exceptional. <laughs> I really thought, um, as I told Carlton, I think he really set the tone with that pick six. And I think the next time he was on the field, he dropped the quarterback yeah, for a 10-yard yeah, yeah. loss. Talk about the player you have in him. He's a great player. You know, he's very smart, works really hard. Uh, I don't think Carlton missed an off-season workout. Um, you know, he got his first offer a couple of weeks ago, John Hopkins. I'm happy for him. He'll have the ability if he wants to play college football. But, you know, for him, I think the sky's the limit. I mean, the defense is kind of built around him. Um, we move him around a lot. He's a special player. You know, very smart, hardworking kid. Yeah, that talk about that. I mean, your defense was a lights out all night, but that front line putting a lot of getting great push. Uh, just talk about those four guys yeah, the, up front. The front four we start. I think to play with anybody's front four. I think we get a lot of pressure off the edge. Uh, with Rocco and Brady and then the two guys inside, Tony and Cole Webster. Phenomenal ball players, you know. We're starting three juniors up there, Rocco being the only senior. So, get some hope for the future. You know, we got three uh, juniors on D-line and twins and linebackers are all juniors. So, hopefully, it's something we can build on defensively. And uh, your offense, uh, Davian looked good early. Then he kind of struggled toward the half. What was the reason for the switch? Just well, to we, both of them young. Davian and Aaron both young. They have no varsity snaps. You know, we saw opportunity there to evaluate Aaron too. You know, I felt the defense was doing good enough. Um, we'd make the move at half. That way we'd have tape on both of them, kind of evaluate them over the weekend and go into Monday and have a game plan who we're starting at Central Day.